Okay, okay, so let's, let's take a step back. Let's take a step. Let me slow down. Let me slow down, right? I want to take my time here. I want to take my time. So the fifth point, man, and this one was good. This one was so good, y'all. Uh, they went and said in the film, and shout out to Killer Mike, because Killer Mike really pointed this point out in the, uh, in the documentary. They went on to say that one thing that Tyler Perry was doing, he was catering to an audience that had been neglected. There's an audience out there that you can serve, but you might have to do a little bit of research. You might have to drill down. You might have to ask some questions. You might have to interview some people. You might have to see what they really need in order for you to really be able to serve this audience. But my fifth point right here is Tyler Perry went out. He identified that audience and then he built his audience with intention. Let me say it one more time. He went out and identified the audience, right? And based on his story, where he talks about him being abused, right? He talks about the struggle that he went through growing up. The intentionality came from when he was a kid, as he was getting beat, he went on to say that he would turn on his imagination to where in that moment he would escape his body and go into a different world. Because that world was happy, that world was creative, that world was free. It allowed him to escape the nasty here and now. And the reason why that's so powerful is because those tough memories that he had as a kid, he was now able to take these experiences and then he was able to incorporate them in the, into his plays. And the reason he incorporated them into his plays was because, one, it was creating conversation that people needed to have but weren't. It was creating dialogue. And then after his plays, he went on to say that he would take about 20 minutes after his shows. He would come out and then he would just talk and would just share and just pour out his heart. And one thing I just want to highlight here is he didn't have to do that. But this is what building an audience with intention looks like, right? When you're an individual and you say, in order for me to build rapport and build relationship with these people out here, they need to know who I am. They need to know a little bit about my story. They need to know why I'm doing what I'm doing and what's at the heart and at the core of it. And that's what Tyler Perry did, right? He's coming out after the show and coming and talking to the people, having a conversation. And in the conversations... Well, more so in the plays. So let's go back. He's creating intentionality through the content that he is incorporating into his plays. Through abuse. Through the struggle. Just the black struggle. Right? Through challenges and different things that he grew up in. Alcoholism. And by him creating laughter... This was now some, this is, laughter has been something for years that in the black community, it's helped us be relieved or at least in that moment to mitigate whatever the current challenge was. Because if we're able to laugh about certain things, then we're lighter and then we're able to keep on moving, keep on going and continue throughout the rest of our day, throughout the rest of our week, right? We, we're, we're able to let loose and now we have something to where we can go forward, right? So he's incorporating this into these plays, and now he's creating a relationship and a bond with anybody who has also experienced the pain, the hurt, and the suffering that he's experienced. So now people are connecting with him by way of connecting to whatever the trauma was, whatever the struggle was, whatever the pain was incorporated in the play, and other people are being educated. 
other people in the family are now being able to have these conversations. And this is what it looks like to really begin to uh, create intention around building your audience. Because if you connect somebody with a story, people are 22 times more likely to remember things that are incorporated within story, right? That's number one. But then if you also pair that with relatability, now they see themselves in the person on the stage. They see themselves or they see their, their cousin, their brother, their mom, their dad as one of the individuals. And now you've got a lifelong fan. So that, that, that's building the audience with intention.